Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. As you know, I have started this new series of Wings in VR where I play VR games using the Oculus Rift DK2. Now, I noticed that there are a few people who played um, Skyrim in VR, and obviously Skyrim, as you know, is one of my favourite games. So I've decided to do that, to play Skyrim, since I managed to make it work, which wasn't easy, by all means, but uh, I, I managed, uh, together with a friend who helped me. And um, so I decided to play Skyrim using the VR set and let you know what I feel. But, but then again, it came to me. Why do we want to play Skyrim in VR? We want to play Skyrim with an Oculus Rift because we want a better and stronger feeling of immersion. We want to feel like we were inside Skyrim. So what we want, what we want is immersion. And then I thought to myself, and I thought, well, but my character is a warrior and he's not wearing a shirt, he's wearing plate armor. So whenever I play Skyrim, even though I might feel there, if I touch myself, I, you know, just uh, touch my arm or something like that happens, um, I won't feel like I am actually wearing armor. So I decided, I'm the Metatron, so I'm going to play Skyrim wearing full plate armor. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's play Skyrim in VR and full plate armor. So let's start with head tracking, and here we are. Oh wow, this is, this is fantastic. Gosh, VR is an amazing piece of technology. Like look, oh look at the guard, hey there. <laughs> He's speaking Italian, sorry for that lads, but uh, my sky is in Italian. Oh my gosh, look at this. The feeling of immersion is really, really good. I mean, it's not obviously it's not a. Let's have a look at the situation here. It's obviously not a um, game designed specifically for the Oculus Rift. And uh, oh, <laughs> that was good. But so it's maybe it's not as immersive as, for example, an affected would be, or any game specifically designed designed for the Oculus Rift. But still, it's incredible considering that it's not. Um, design for it. Um, I had to reduce a bit the graphic quality, but I had to do that because of fraps more than anything, not really for the headset, uh, for the head mounted set. Look, look at this tree! Wow! Incredible. What really gives me the feeling of immersion, which is really, really strong, is the fact that yes, that I can move my head like with any other things. Like I look down and there is the ground, I look up and there is the sky, and uh, and I can look around, so that's that's really good. But one of the problems is that uh, I I am sitting. So personally, I think that the Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim, or maybe a future Elder Scrolls in VR, has to be a standing experience. And the reason why I say that is because the other day I tried to do something. What I tried to do was the whole jumping kind of gives me a strange feeling. Um, what I tried to do, I just stood up, I put auto run, and I started pretending I was running. And I ran around. I actually ran from uh, Riverwood to um, White Run. And apart from the fact that it was good, you know, I think it's good for fitness, but apart from that, oh gosh, look at this. Sorry if I, if I just, uh, I, I'm just, I'm amazed every time I try this. Like I'm inside Skyrim, you know what I'm saying? This is incredible. Um, so I was saying that uh, it's, it's, it's much better because in the game you are running. Now, of course, the fact that I'm wearing an armor, it's nice because my character is also wearing an armor, I can see that. And so it's uh, particularly for good third person, but uh, but that's absolutely pointless because VR needs to be played in, in first person. But it makes me feel a bit more that I'm actually in there wearing my armor, and it's good because I'm, I'm seated and that's not giving me any problems whatsoever. Look at that mammoth! Gosh, shall I attack the mammoth? Yes, of course. I'll, he'll probably kill me because this is a new character I've just created. All right then. So are you ready, lads? Are you ready for some? Epic death of the Metatron. Okay, I've been using um, the keyboard instead of the mouse for the attack input, and that's because with the mouse sometimes things would just sometimes wouldn't work. So it, they work with the keyboard. I'm using the keyboard for everything. What you're looking at? 
Oh, you want some of this? Do you want it? I'm going to kill you, brat. You spoil all gosh! Oh my <laughs> He freaking one shot me! Are you joking? He one shot me! Gosh! <laughs> well, as I said, this was this is a very um, level one character, so uh, you know you can't expect more than this. So let's see, uh, and let's find some enemies that, that I can actually fight against. Because something that kind of bothers me a bit is how people, other YouTubers that play Skyrim in VR, they seem to be attacking guards all the time. Seems like that's become something that uh, like very popular I never attack guards guards help me so why, why attacking guards I mean I like role playing my game so I wouldn't attack a guard unless I really needed to like really something happened uh, I don't know like, uh, you know an evil an evil tyrant and then I need to kill these guards to to free a land that's because probably I played as a, as a good guy believe me I could stay here for months. I could just stay here for hours and hours. I really want to play this game all over again. It's a completely different experience. And again, it's not like a perfect porting, but it's a pretty good porting from standard to VR. This, this is good. This is not bad at all. Again, it's very difficult to make it work, but eventually, when you manage to, it really is fantastic. <laughs> I like this. If you own an armor, you need to try this. Oh, let's kill crabs. You little muppet. Oh, there's a lot of you. You get this. You grab this sword was specifically de designed to kill crabs. There you go. Nice. We killed something and it wasn't a freaking guard for a change. It was a crab, not much of a change. It would have been much more epic to kill skeletons, but yeah. You know, my orientation is not always as good. It's good in the cities, because I know the cities very well. It's not as good in here, because now everything looks looks like a, as if I was really there. So the it's different. It's different from a normal first view person experience. It's like a real first view person experience and that puts things into a different perspective. This is fantastic. Oh look at that. Look, you know what really amazes me? How something that would look trivial, like something like this. I, in the real Skyrim, like in, I mean in the normal Skyrim, standard Skyrim, I would just see this, perhaps look at the water, think, oh, that's good graphics, and go away. But it wouldn't be that an, uh, of an experience. Instead, now, it really is, like, even the smallest of things become an experience. It feels like I went to see a lake, which in real life is already a good experience. It's like, you know, it's something you talk about with your friends, you know, I went to the lake yesterday. Well. This is how, this is what VR does for Skyrim and, and other games, anyways. Ah, the river. For example, now that I'm wearing my armor and I feel the weight of my armor on me, um, I don't really feel like going into the river that much, perhaps a little bit. But I wouldn't feel like swimming at all, because, you know, VR plus the weight of the armor Thanks, but no thanks. I know that in games you always can do that, you can always do that, but... Uh, oh, wolves! Oh, bring it on, bring it on. Oh, mamma mia! Okay, the third person switch is a bit confusing, but... Gosh, this wolf is close! This is... Uh, and that's just a wolf! Can you mind? I can't, I can't even fathom what it feels like to fight the undead. That's something we want to try. I'll make a video for that. The Metatron against the undead in Skyrim. How about that? What do you think? You know, I really, I really like the the way things look. Um, sometimes you get some strange textures. 
but I suppose particularly with me, with my um, Skyrim, it, it, it tends to happen with with the water sometimes, and it used to happen with shadows, but luckily the problem with shadows is very easy to, oh, I know that, it's very easy to take care of. Look at this, oh, beautiful water, beautiful Skyrim. I, lo I just love Bethesda, I do. Uh, believe me, they, they didn't pay me to, do, to, to say this, so it's 100% honest. I love Bethesda, I've been playing the Elder Scrolls since Morrowind, that was my first day of the scrolls, but never could I imagine that one day I could experience something like this. Let's go. Let's seek adventure. The nature looks really, really, really pretty. I think it's the best thing that you get from playing Skyrim in VR. You, the way you think, like the trees look, and uh, and all this. I really, I really can't wait to go to Riverwood. That's another place that I've spent so many hours in. And I don't know about you, but uh, there are just some of the cities in Skyrim and villages. They just feel like they are my home. They really do. You know the feeling you get when you when you have been away from home for a while, and then you go back. That's the feeling I'm getting. By, you know, through playing Skyrim in VR. No, 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 no. There is not a chance in hell I'm doing this jump. Ah, uh, okay, I guess I'll do it for you. So, three, two, one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Now I think of all the stupid things I've that I, I put my character through. Oh gosh, all that. Now I understand. Whoa, the castle! This reminds me of when I was in Wales. Um, you know, because I, I obviously I lived in England, but then I moved to Wales before coming back to Italy. And in Wales there are a lot of castles. Um, also in England, but, but Wales was amazing. I, I, was, I went to the Conway Castle, and that was one of the best experiences of my life. Bring it on! I'm the Metatron! I don't fear you! Oh man, yes, should gosh, that was a good hit! You piece of... Break that shield of yours. All right then. I think this is quite good for for today, the first video. But I'll make a few. So my final ideas and impressions about Skyrim in VR. Skyrim in VR is really amazing. It's fantastic. It's worth um, the purchase, I think. And I can't even fathom how good a actual Skyrim in VR created by Bethesda with the Oculus Rift or any. Uh, head mounted set in mind would be. Um, I really think they need to work on this. Uh, I heard that some people want, uh, were talking about the idea of, of a patch perhaps to, to have the Elder Scrolls Online um, co compatible with VR and I heard other people that actually managed already to play uh, the Elder Scrolls Online in, in VR. I'll give it a try, I'll let you know if it works and let me know if you know anything about it in the comments below because if that's the case well I'm getting the game. I am getting the game. So, um, and what's interesting to say also is that uh, now the Elder Scrolls Online is free to play. You don't have to, I mean, you do need to buy the copy, I think, the physical copy or the dig digital copy, but then uh, there's just one purchase and, and then you go. So, I, as, again, I'm a big fan of the Elder Scrolls. Um, playing it in VR is already fantastic. I'd be content already with Skyrim the way it is, the way it plays. It's not perfect, but it works very well and it does give you the feeling of immersion. Although I have to say again that actual demos and games created for the, for the Oculus give you more, much more uh, feeling of immersion. Again, if played standing, as I have tried, and uh, particularly with something like the Omni, I think that the feeling of immersion could get to a point where this could become addictive. So, positive or negative, that's, uh, that's an opinion. As far as I'm concerned, it's exactly what I was looking for and was what I was waiting for. For my armor aspect, it's great. So, uh, maybe I won't wear my armor every single time I play Skyrim, but those afternoons where I have absolutely nothing to do, and then I think I would just uh, stand up, prepare everything and play Skyrim with my armor it's great. It's, uh, it's, it's really, really nice. And uh, also the fact that I'm wearing a head-mounted set kind of fits, fits in, because it feels as if I am wearing a helmet. So it, it explains also the little bit of, of slight 
a uh, little weight that you feel on your head when you wear this. So, fantastic. Again, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this and about Skyrim and also about VR. And, uh, and as always, I'll see you for my next video. And remember, the Metatron has spread its wings into virtual reality.